Welcome to the Traders Help Desk Online Video Collection. In this video, I'm actually going to be talking about the new THD Cumulative Delta Volume Analysis tools that we have available for multi-charge users. As you can see, I have two panes here. Both of them are on a four-block Rinko. It's a four-tick Rinko on the Euro. The top pane on this left screen is the price bars. And then we have the cumulative delta volume analysis. Beneath that we have the cumulative uptick downtick volume analysis. Indirectly beneath that we have the momentum indicator, which is also based on the delta. Over on the right hand side you see that we have again the price bar set to a four tick Rinko brick. We also have the Rinko wicks on the chart and you can barely see these little green or red lines directly beneath them. You also see that we have yellow dots. These identify the isolated highs and lows on the Rinko. We have the ATR, built-in ATR from THD. We also have the THD ADX, the THD RSI, and the THD Heikinashi. Now, if you have the THD tools already, you know the importance of the ADX peak. Anytime we see an ADX peak, which is this magenta color here, let me turn that off for a moment, is this magenta dot right here, then we expect price to pull back to the ATR. As you can see, we made the peak and it pulled back to the ATR, then we would be anticipating a test of the low, which it also did. So this morning we had an 8.30 market report and I want to show you exactly what happened using the cumulative delta and the THD RSI and ADX. Um, the 8.30 report came in here and as you can see on the left hand side, the T3 line is going from red to blue, red to blue, red to blue. So the market was in a congestion area during this time. And then all of the indicators lined up for what we call a momentum trade. Now this is taught uh, on the training course Momentum Signals by Chris of FulcrumTrader.com. And you can see, just as this lined up, right after the 8.30 market report, over on the left, we had red on the moving average. It's called a T3 moving average on both the cumulative delta as well as the uptick down tick. You can also see over on the right-hand side that price had made a previous high on this bar, then it closed down. We were red on the ADX, we were red on the RSI, and we were also red on the THD Heikinashi. So this is a momentum trade, comes into the market, and of course the ADX peak comes in right at the bottom. And you can see that the ADX showed that the momentum was really building to the downside and then we got a yellow dot, which is also a magenta peak, because we have magenta histogram bars, and that would have been the signal for me to exit the trade. Of course, then we go into an uptrend, and again, you make an isolated low here. And the one thing that you want to make sure of is when you make this isolated low, are you blue? on that bar on the cumulative delta and the uptick downtick. As you can see, you are. If you look over to the left, this is what you saw at the opening of the bar. So you were eligible to go into the market. You had a blue hike in Ashi. You can also see that the RSI was going blue. The ADX was dark blue. So again, you have an entry. And of course, you're still going up. You are now magenta in color. So if you were to get a peak, you would know that it would pull back to the ATR stop. 
Now again, this is using a Ringo chart, which is an advanced style of charting. So each of these bricks is actually equal to four ticks in the euro. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, 24 ticks so far on this Ringo chart.